What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Big Guilty Cigars Podcast. To my left, we have one of my good friends, Tony, the Soros Assassin. Uh, if you see my channel, you know I was challenging somebody in Street Fighter. He's the guy that got lucky. I had an off night. To my defense, I had a very, very off night. My hands were cold. It was sweaty. Uh, I don't. I froze up in the moment. Like stuff like that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And like, and I choked. I choked. And I let I I, I let the boss down. And uh, I didn't fulfill all my bounty. So uh, without further ado, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Hey guys, everybody. Um, you know, I just wanted to tell everybody he was indoor. There's no such thing as my hand got cold. Just, you know, put it out there. He did win one, one particular round. So, you know, it's not like his hand got cold. He, he could. He just couldn't. All right. Just just set things straight. But, yeah. Don't believe that. That was be, that was total. That was uncharacteristic of me. Oh, yeah. Sure. You know? Of course. Yeah. It's always that. That was very, I was very uncharacteristic of myself. I'm, no, I'm normally a lot better Street Fighter player than that. So, uh, but you know what? Uh, life is about lessons, and uh, and life is about a good comeback story. So, just be on the lookout soon for my rematch. There, there is no comeback story to that. <laughs> so, on today's pod, we're going to be talking about what's coming out in PCA, the new cigars that are coming out. Um, you know, we're just going to run down a list of stuff and see. You know, see what you guys are excited about in the comments uh, after the show and get the, get the conversation started also there. But first, we're going to start off with Mickey Peg in All Saints. So All Saints has his. Uh, you know, Tony's probably, probably Tony's do a much better job than reading that I will. So I will leave him to the names of the stuff because I'm going to butcher everything because, you know, I got that nourish our education system. So. What was that supposed to mean? What is that? Uh, that, so that I was that, saying Salamente, right? Salamente. Re- and it says returning, you know, return returning this November. So it's not so it's so, you know, it's not going to be a PCA ex- exclusive, but he announced it that's coming out in November. Um, I've I've had a couple of all Saints cigars, and um, I didn't mind. I thought they were pretty good. I have some of the old ones, and it, you know what bothers me about this release is the price jack up from eleven ninety five to twenty bucks. What? Mm-hmm. I don't. Okay, damn. Why, why we gotta start the show like this, man? <laughs> why we gotta start the show like this? Like this is my problem. It's it's kind of like, like, why? Like, what's up with the greed? It's it's insanity to me. It doesn't make sense. Right, it, it really it's, doesn't. It's twenty three cigars, and um, five by fifty eight Toro, and it's it's not using anything crazy. It's Ecuadorian Habano, right, and then uh, binders Nicaraguan, and then combination of Honduran and Nicaraguan tobacco in the filler, which it sounds very normal, but why twenty bucks? Yeah, twenty no, what, bucks so, for a Toro cigar. So Tony, so let me ask you this. So you know. Uh, like for instance, like the Davidoff Royal, the Opus X, the uh, what's it, Purple Rain? Okay. You know, these are these are like eighty dollars cigars. Okay, and you know it just makes you wonder, like, to make a cigar itself is no more than two dollars. Let's just take, let's take- there. There's something to it though. I I I can agree with Royal. And have you seen the box of Royal? Well, uh, I'm not talking about the rock. I'm not talking about the box itself. But you got to know this. When you buy a cigar, you're not buying just a cigar. You're buying cigar plus the decoration, right? Selling the single stick was not something that was normal when cigar first started. You always buy the box unless you're in the store smoking them, right? So your price of your cigar includes the box, right? For the convenience of not having to buy the box, you pay for the box too, but not have the box. I I don't know, man. It's it's real. That's something that just really kind of it really kind of eats at me when it comes to uh, just just as far as even. But that's why you buy it. For example, if you go to a store, 
right? And you buy, like say uh, Best Buy or something like that. You buy a mm-hmm. TV. There's a there's a price for the 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 TV and there's a price for out of box TV. They have different price. Yeah. Because packaging does cost money. Yeah. Right. And once you have open and all that stuff, and you know, for collectors, that might not be something you want. If you see Opus X like decoration for their boxes, they are not ten dollar boxes. If you see how people are selling their cigars, like you know, uh, for example, um, Royals, people will sell those cigars and then sell the box for a hundred bucks for two hundred dollars. Wow. So you are that that box is worth something. People can use those box as a humidor. They are nicely made enough to to qualify as being a humidor because that's how your cigar is transported anyway. So you gotta work that price. Like when I would do a review, I work that price into individual stock price, uh, so that I can see whether or not that cigar is worth that price. But if there's nothing changed, if you look at the the, the new Solomon, then nothing really changed. It's just you know we released from the previous one. Yeah, and it's in total size, and it's even missing one cigar. It's twenty three sticks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, like, and my whole, like, even though, like, because, you know, the price, the price to make a cigar is not, it's not that expensive. And, you know, but if, and, and even when you, when you're buying in bulk, it bring it brings the price of the box down itself also. The problem is with Keystone pricing, right? So something that's not crazy, but once you Keystone it, now it becomes something extraordinarily, crazily crazy, right? Twenty-five dollar. If you, if you, let's say this cigar is twenty dollars. That means when they bought it in, it's ten bucks. Ten bucks doesn't sound like a lot, right? For this cigar, it'll probably make sense. Fifteen dollar for this cigar probably doesn't sound too bad either. But twenty dollar, you jump up. It's because from that ten dollar, you doubled it, mm-hmm. right? And what bothers me the most. The most is that they tell you that they could sell you this for twelve dollar before, and now it's twenty dollar. Had they released this originally to start twenty dollar, and that's their target audience, that would be totally fine. But they released it at eleven ninety five before, mm-hmm. so they, they basically tell you that we could have sell it for five, but now we're gonna sell it for ten. So they were the, the retailer had to sell it for twenty. So when you talk about that as being greed, yeah, there is some greed to it. A lot is it is greed. But for me, based mm-hmm. on the look of this cigar, I will skip. I will skip. Yeah. That's the one cigar I will skip. You know, like, it's one of those things where, you know, when it comes to the cigar industry, and it's like, you know, every every six months, we get, we're getting hit with new pricing. Well, yeah, but then, like, you know, so is everything else in the world. Like, all, even food. I remember yeah. eggs should be 99 cents a box. Now we're paying five ninety nine a box. Mm-hmm. So there is something to that. But yeah, this like you know, starting with that cigar in this podcast, I guess that I, I could easily say that that's one I'll skip for sure. If you tell me that you can sell for for twelve, now you jump to twenty, I'm not gonna go with that. Exactly. Yeah. How about you? Would you buy it for twenty? Um, I'll buy one just to give it a try. Buy one. You know, like prices, price like that. You know, like the one, like you, the one thing I always go back to is, you know, there's, there's so many, there's so many good cigars that are under, you know, thirteen dollars that, you know, it, you, you can get two, you can get two, you can get two cigars for that price. So it's kind of hard to to justify buying one, unless you want to try it out, or or it's like you get to get that cigar maybe once, maybe once a month on payday. You know, like, all right. You know what? Like, I'm gonna treat myself. Like, but that's, that's more. That, that, this cigar doesn't look like celebratory cigar. That that cigar does not look like I had a hard day and I got a relaxed cigar. It doesn't. Like twenty bucks to be smoking that every pop. You like this could happen twelve. This could happen twelve. This could happen twelve. You know. Yeah. True. True. You know, like um, that's the one thing. Like, cause because you know, even the the Pledge of Allegiance is, is kind of pricey, but I do want to try one. Oh, Pledge of Legion is different. Like again, decoration of the box. The box is lacquered. Yeah. Right. You gotta, you know, you gotta have somebody paint the red. So you can't just put this mm-hmm. entire thing and have somebody spread it and it was done. Right. There is lacquer. There is gold layering. 
like the Leafs. Yeah. Right. It's solid box. Uh, I don't know oh. if there's a magnet on there, but it closes very nicely. I can feel the air being pushed out when this thing closes. Right. And there was a clear film and a thing that talked about Pledge of the Legion in here. Yeah. Right. Uh, the cigars individual separated by a divider, nicely packaged. There is four, no, three bands on this thing: main band, a white band, and then the whole bottle covering. All that costs money, and it gets for twenty dollars. And inside yeah. is also painted and lacquered. I can see it. Yeah. So there is plenty of prices different, mm -hmm. and this is why when you look at Allegiance. It's nowhere nearly the price, right? Because it's not lacquered. Exactly. It's, matte. it's just have the lettering. It's a huge difference in in, in, in how was, you know, there's no divider exactly. in between. Right? Wow. So there is there is a difference, and that's what the cost should be. But for that box, I don't see anything different about it. Should oh, be now, more. well, I'm surprised that, there's, that you smoked through those allegiances already. It was actually <laughs> pretty good. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised you smoked through those already. I figure, you know, I I'll get pleasure to Legion, so I was just smoke through that Legion. Legion, uh, Legion's like like right now I'm smoking a, you know, Oliva. Legion's just a little bit better Oliva or something like that. You know, it's, it does taste pretty good. So, so is that is that one right there a part of the partnership between EP Carrillo and Oliva? I think that's the one. No, I think that's the one. Yeah. It well, no, like no, because no, well, because because the. Because the um, because the allegiance is the is the partnership between Oliva and right, right, and it tastes like it tastes like Oliva with a little bit uh -huh. more to it. So, and since you know Oliva is not a bad cigar, so if you put it together, it's even uh -huh. better cigar. Exactly, especially with, especially with, Ernie, with Ernie's hands, yeah, you're gonna get something good. So, you know. Uh, you know, the one thing I, I also would say is, you know, I think in I think everybody's trying to come out with their own ultra premium cigars. And this and this is not I, I also believe that foundation, they're gonna be they're gonna be releasing their ultra premium cigars at PCA because the new the new charter oak is gonna be thirteen dollars. Uh we can take a uh, look down the list. I haven't checked the whole entire list yet, yeah. to be honest with you. So, so he's coming out, I think he's coming out with, with two new cigars. I think one is gonna be 40. And one is gonna be, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm I'm getting I'm, I'm getting summoned. Man, <laughs> getting 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 summoned during 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 the show. That's how it is. That's how it is. You know? So, yeah. So, um, you know, like. Uh, if, if we now if we take a look, a look down the list, also, so we have Diesel Vintage. I'm on hold, Mitch. I couldn't hear you. Oh uh, well, I'm I'm doing a live podcast right now. So, all right, so pick up those clothes. Oh my God, destroy destroying the show, destroying the show. <laughs> I tell you, so Diesel is is coming out with a Vintage series, uh, you know, and. You know, they're saying that this one right here is coming from the, of course, AJ Nicaragua mix, Mexican Andreas binder, Esteli filler, Jalapa Nicaragua. I'm, I'm butchering and reading fast so much, but it's, it's also saying that the filler has been aged for five to eight years. No, this one, see, if you compare everything else, right? First yes. of all, the box for this particular one is super cool. All right. It's got a little yes. band in the front that covers it up and all two tone wood. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Well, right? I was saying this, and the price point on it is actually very, very well. Right. And for a five to eight year aged filler. And, you know, for like if you comparison, the same thing, a Toro, five, uh, six by 52 is only eight bucks. It's a huge difference. Like, you know, I actually liked how this one was put together. Yeah. If it wasn't because these are always gets me sick, I will I would not even wait to get this box. I mm. just want to think about it because these are always gets me sick. So <laughs> you know, with this thing being uh, you know, one of the things I, I, I have problem with the cigars nowadays is every single cigar I look, 
seem to have Mexican San Andreas rapper right now. Well, so, it's 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 the new hot thing. Yeah, but then that just makes every cigar taste very similar. Yes. You know, and it kind of skew or destroys the market of um having you know a diverse and cigar and Connecticut Broleaf. Yeah. So that's a problem. But based on the look of it, it's gonna be a very dark, deep, um, you know, chocolate like cigar. I think so. I think I think what people what people are trying to do, they're trying to sub out the Connecticut Broadleaf for the San Andreas wrapper. It makes no sense because Connecticut Broadleaf is super cheap. Mm-hmm. Super cheap. In the past, nobody wants it. But it's so flavorful that yeah. people are using it now. So it wouldn't make sense to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I, it's just that seems like people figure out how to use the San Andreas and start using that because it's abundance of it. You know, it can that that also means a secure production, right? You don't have to worry about running out of the tobacco. And I think that's but, why they're all using the same tobacco. But at the same time, too, you're not paying the American price. Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the Mexican San Andreas is cheaper than the Connecticut Broly's. I don't think that's going to be different because, again, the broad leaf in the past, nobody wants it. It's like, you know, big giant leaf that nobody want to use. Well, yeah, it's a big, it's a, it's a big giant leaf, but. And I, and I think really is uh, it's, it's saturation. So when people start using broad leaf, everybody use broad leaf. Now yeah. there's a production issue, right? Yeah. So it's like, okay, I can't take any more order for that. But we have plenty of these San Andreas. Would you like mm-hmm. to use that? Okay, sure. You know, I think that's what it is, yeah. but. You never know. Some people, like, I think San Andreas uh, rappers are usually hit, hit with this kind of thing. You know, some of them are really good. Some of them are very underage. But this one is basically telling you that if the filler at least is eight years, I don't know, you know, how long the, the rapper is. So It looks good, though. It looks good. This one will be a maybe for me. So, uh, so Tatiana is coming out. And this is, this is probably the one that interests, like, when we first went through the list, this one really caught my eye. And the reason why it really caught my eye was just the fact that Tatiana is coming out with a, with, you know, a six by 54, when normally they come out with very petite cigars. You know, almost okay. like most, most of their stuff is mostly like Lanceros. For me, I already automatically write this off because they're well, a brand that makes flavor cigars. And I'm no, not I, I, I understand that, but it's something that I feel like is not in their, their normal wheelhouse. You know, um, right. and, which would like, you know, is telling a wood chopper to farm, a, 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 you know, watermelon kind of thing. You well, know? So and they well, say that they use new technique and all that stuff. You know, I will have to wait until people's opinion on that, because, I mean, it's made by La Aurora, which they do a really good job. Yeah. Right. So at twelve dollar, as you know, twelve dollar, and us being the guinea pig, I don't know. Um, the one thing I want, I the only thing I'm wondering is, are they trying to get out of the flavor? Because flavor is going to be canceled soon, so it makes you wonder if, they, if this is going to be their first experience outside of the flavored market. And I think it's very possible. I think yeah, it's. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I like. Um, I thought I had it closed. Apparently, I was still in the room. <laughs> uh, who who okay. came in? That that was Eric. Oh, uh, actually, actually, if he wants, if he wants to come on, he's working. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, again, like you know, they they were doing the flavor stuff. They want to get yeah. out of it because they run out, and then you know, have La Aurora make it. It might be a good thing. But I just don't feel like to pay twelve dollars to be a guinea pig. I feel like if they gotta, you know, start something like this and really get to it, they should start at a more. Uh, the only, the, I think, I think the only reason that they're trying to do something like that is just the, um, is just the fact that it's a 25th year, twenty fifth year anniversary cigar. 
So that's why I kind of feel like they're actually, you know, putting that price point because like, all right, well, no, well, normally our cigars are six set are like six, seven dollars. And this is an anniversary cigar, so we can try to kind of buy bump up the price on it. Um again, I I just don't I can't justify it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I seen um well, so the Tatiana is a, is a no for you. If you know if we if we get it if we get it as Sanchez, I'll get, I'll buy one and give it a try to see if if it's uh if it's flavored or not. Okay. Yeah, I would see if it's just try to see if it's flavored or not. And twelve dollars is not bad. It's it twelve dollars you can you can you can buy one for twelve. It's not. Yeah, it's not, but like you know, I, I the box looks like uh like a Casa Cueva style yeah. paper taped over box. True. So I didn't think I didn't think that was trying to justify for something that they want to release and try to get people's attention. Um, you but know, you know, ago, so. but but you know, but Tom, but you but you're a box guy, so it's a little different. Well, everything everything goes into the pricing. Everything yeah. goes into pricing. Yeah. So, uh, Agnor Salif is adding a Lonsdale to uh to the rare leaf, which I think that's just a Vitola difference. I don't think yeah. it's making a huge difference, but you know, it's not bad. Ten bucks, eleven bucks, yeah. four cigars like that, and the box looks pretty good. I like the the way the box looks. Do you want to talk about lighters? <laughs> we could. Well, you know, because like, listen, like a lot to me, a lighter is a lighter. No, well, not 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 in that sense. I mean, as far as like, you know, old school people use blick use blick like use blick lighters. Mm-hmm. Bic. Yeah. You know, they use the big lighters. Yeah. You know, so like, if you're if you're indoors, I feel like if you're if you're able to get a soft flame, go for it. If you're indoors. Uh, outside, you know, any like the torch is the way to go if you're outside. <clears throat> but well, you know, if if we're talking about this, right? First of all, we're talking about the vertigo uh, lighter, yeah. right? Yeah. And number two, you're saying that some people don't really need different lighters, which yeah. I disagree because, like, it's like even people, like for example, some people buy BMW, they will put something different on their key pop, just yeah. look different. And something like this particular lighter is flat. It makes sense. And mm-hmm. it comes up flat flame, which yeah. is pretty good attach ups. I can understand it. I can dig it. The only thing I cannot dig is why is the trigger on the side where the fire is? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's the only part I have problem with. But, you know, and for lighter to be $25, it's a little pricey to me. I'll pay for for this lighter. I will probably pay fifteen dollars for it, something like that. But twenty five, a little pricey for that one. So, what's the most expensive lighter you ever bought, Tom? Uh, it's gotta have to be one of those Saint Dupont's. Uh, it was like maybe three thousand dollars, something like that. How often do you use it? I lost it. <laughs> I lost a handful of Saint Duponts, so. Like if I if I have a Saint Dupont light lighter, that's the one that doesn't leave the house. <laughs> yeah, you know. But next on the list we have ATL. Oh, ATL cigars, which I'm listen. Uh, I'm I'm rooting for I'm rooting for ATL cigars. I really want them to do well. Even though they don't like, here's the thing: they they buy their tobacco from Agonos Elite, so Agonos Elite blends their cigars for them. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's kind of like, you know, they just put a name, this 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 put their wrapper on somebody else's cigar. That is not true. I think that, that what we're saying that's that's being done right now is what every cigar shop, uh, cigar company does. Unless yeah. you own your own factory, somebody's making your cigars. Yeah. So. You know, that's why like 70 something percent of all cigars made by Placencia. You know, they give them the recipe and they make yeah. it. That's it. I would say that I would say this too. You know, like they pick the 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 stuff that they picked is really good. I enjoyed all three of their cigars, the young blood, the um the my favorite from them is the it's named after a goodie mob song, the uh Lepertide. Okay. 
So, I have not tried any ATL cigars. Yeah, so that one is named after a Goody Mod track. I actually had Lee, actually had Leroy Lamar, who is the owner of ATL Cigars, uh, on a podcast. Um, you know, back in the uh, back when I had back when I was doing Six of Fire, we had them on, and we had a really good discussion. You know, um, but you know, I'm I'm re- I'm rooting for them. You know, I really want them to do well, and um, you know. And I think I think this right here is just a different by Vitola size. Yeah, but price—if yeah. you look at the price, still you no know, nine to thirteen dollar range. That, that's yeah. reasonable. Yeah. To those twenties. Yeah. And then we have oh, so Aurora, Aurora exclusive twenty twenty three. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty cool. Again, but you're jumping into a seventeen twenty seventeen eighteen nineteen dollar twenty dollar yeah. range. But you know what? I do like uh. I do like Aurora cigars. Okay. You know, I like them a lot. Uh, this box looks well made. It's actually the top is actually an ashtray. Well, not that you what? want to use it as an ashtray, but. Oh, that is fire. So the top is, you know, can you can see the four little cutout? Yeah. That, that, I'm pretty sure that's useful as, as an ashtray. But when you do that, it destroys the box. So I don't know. It's not a bad uh, idea. Fifty by five. That's not. That's it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I do. I, I I do. I do enjoy all uh most of Aurora stuff. Uh, they're they're getting there. Oh my gosh! Oh, you, so Tony, you're gonna love this one. So uh so uh Tadawate is releasing a NFT. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother thinking about that. I think all NFT are retarded. I'm not saying the people who bought it are retarded because I'm pretty sure you're used, you're doing it for some reason, whatever. But I just I cannot back something that has no value, and, and it most likely has something to do with my working background. Something had to yeah. make sense. Or well, you know what? I would uh, the one thing about it, like people realize that the end the NFT game is kind of it's, it's it's real shaky. Mm-hmm. The way you set price is that you had to buy one of the the mint. So you when you mint one, you gotta buy it, and whatever price that you put in to buy it, that's the price you set. Here's the problem: because when you buy it, it still goes to your own pocket. So mm-hmm. if I set one coin as one million dollar, all I have to do is pay myself one million dollar. It makes no mm-hmm. sense to do that. So, so yeah, NFT. No, nah. please don't do it. Nah. Please don't do it. So uh. <laughs> Is it is it is it disrespectful to uh just go past the next one? <laughs> you know, I got something I, I got some beef to pick on this one. Go for it. Go for right? it. The next one is a Gurkha. They want to do a year of the dragon. I say the review, you know, are the other year of is that don't stupidly release a year of just one year. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna buy just one year. I understand Dragon is very important, Asian and stuff like that. And I know that Gurkha has a huge Asian market because the Asian people don't know what to smoke and shit. But holy shit, you're you're selling a six and three quarter cigar by fifty two for twenty five dollars each for a Gurkha, for a Gurkha. Don't like what are you thinking? What are you thinking? And not to mention that Dragon is ugly as hell. That dragon's got a fish tail. You know? <laughs> or if you call it phoenix tail, whatever. But that dragon's got some furry ass tails. So I don't know. I don't even have to tell people, but you guys know if it's good guy, I'm skipping it. Exactly. Yeah. Holy oh, shit, that man. was bad. That like why? Why? I didn't say anything about it. Yeah, if you gotta there. release your start at the rack and then go 12. So some people can collect it. If you have no, you just gotta jump in the middle and nobody have the whole entire thing. Don't even bother. They, they'll try uh, to do the same thing David out there because the David out first one was a year of the dragon. All right, so uh guilty plug. I like that. It's a, a, gu- a guilty plug, but uh guilty plug. So if you didn't see before the episode before this one, I did have John Hubert of Crown Head Cigars on the podcast. Um, and he's coming out with a PCA exclusive, which is the four kicks mule kick, which is, uh, pretty crafty for a name. 
and uh and hopefully uh hopefully i get to try this one you know hopefully i also I have beef with that too <laughs> <laughs> what's your beef the, the the box is bigger than a cigar uh <laughs> it's like a, it's, it's like it's like it's like a centimeter. You don't want the cigar to be able to move around, you know. Yeah. Well, but it looks like something's missing in there. <laughs> right? Yeah, like uh, it's, it's a little too long. It's a little too tall, and it's a little too wide. It's like, dude, did you not figure this out before you do that? Come on. Yeah. So I would say uh, one thing about Cryhead I like about them is they pick good. They they John he never calls himself a blender. Even though he's been he's been in the game since 06, he says the one thing he credits himself to doing is he he says he he's able to pick good blends that he thinks everybody else will enjoy. And so far, he, and he and he has fire swag. His hats are fire. He like I like his hats a lot. Crown heads? Yeah. Whenever I see Crown Heads logo, I think about the Burberry logo from like maybe seven years ago. Mm. You look at they looks very similar. See, I, I I thought that you would maybe go maybe go with um Carolina Carolina Herrera. No, Carolina Herrera is just a ch. They don't put it together. But yeah, the, the okay. font they're using. If you look it up, Burberry uh, logo back in two thousand. I don't know, seventeen, sixteen. That's how it looks like. It's like a it's like a, one of the weird logo shape. It's a font mm. based. Mm. But. Don't you talk shit about Carolina Herrera because my wife will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? Back in the day, Carolina Herrera, Curve was like, you had to have Curve. Because because one, number one, it was cheap. You oh, know? they're not cheap. No, no, no. No, Curve Curve is like, it, it's oh, like curve. her. Okay. Curve is like her, her beginner one. You know, like Curve was like back in the day, like 90s. You know, like, man, like I, I, I haven't, I haven't, had a bottle of like curve was like my first fragrance i ever bought uh ch right now is uh it's a brand oh, where like, i think that the queen wears it the spanish yeah. queen uh uh the current princess wears it yeah it's it's, it's one of those yeah like, like, but, the picture she goes by it it's crazy i have uh i have i have i have like two or three other carolina carolina her her fragrances that i looked that uh like i too it's like v, uh 212 vip i have so I, I, I like her stuff. Candles. I don't even know why I have those candles. <laughs> <laughs> Internal yeah. fragrance wise, I have candles. Yeah, like. <clears throat> and so next on the list, we kind of have to talk about that one because yeah. it's one of those things that Gurkha does well, is to make a box that looks nice, kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Oh, it says the house. Oh, they're talking about the, the flavor tobacco band. Oh shit! <laughs> that, um, that box looks like eh. Okay, all right. You know what? I right. would say this: the box itself is really, really nice. That's all they but, have. Every single cigar they have is kind of weird, except yeah. the, the, the box that they use is nice. But they tend to use those like fresh pack bags. Yeah. I hate them. So I would say. Uh, You know, the only, the only issue is what's in the box, but we'll leave that for another topic. Yeah, just buy it for the box and toss it out. Holy shit. You see that? That thing opens. That is so nice. Wow. That is, have, have, you, have you seen when it open? Yeah, I saw it. Inside looks like, actually, it, it kind of looks like mini perfume squeeze. Yes. Thing. Yeah, it's the inside is actually really, really nice. But six and a six and a half by sixty, price at thirty. See, it's all the price. The, all that money is goes to the packaging. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. That's that a really nice cigar, though. That's a really nice box, though. I, I can't lie. Somebody, um, go ahead. You can keep the cigar. Give me the box. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. Oh, so yep. Here we go. The foundation. Tabernacle. Yeah. That thing looks toothy as hell, man. Yeah. But the price point is what is kind of is kind of what everybody's talking about. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. 
Again, that's packaging again. I'm telling you, this is a humidor style box with a base extended out and hardware that clicks and close. So, you know, they spend the money on packaging rather than, or oh, the cigar doesn't look, doesn't look bad. It's really toothy, toothy cigar, right? Yeah, so, but again, also, it's also going to be a too, very heavy cigar too. Well, you know, also too though, his, uh, the new, new Charter Oaks is going to be $13. Yeah, raise the price, raise the price. But yeah, I mean, it looks like an interesting cigar. Again, this one has a broad leaf and Sinadris. You know, like, uh, like, uh, here's the thing. There's not like, uh, there's not one cigar that Nick has came out with that I haven't said I, that I, that I didn't like, and that's and that's surprising for any cigar brand. So for any cigar brand, for me to say that. I don't, I don't like not one of your cigars. You know, yeah, their cigars are heavy. So I mean, Tabernacle yeah. is something that I don't like. Smoke like yesterday, I smoked the David Havana seed, and I was just like, "This is really, really good." You know, so the, I so, age for additional fifteen months after being rolled. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, I, they have reasons to charge you that price. So I would say this, Tone. I think one thing that, you know, I spoke to Pedro on Tuesday, uh, not in a podcast, but in like a Zoom call. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a few people. And one thing I will say is, uh, I think the one reason why maybe your company, as far as Jewish State, uh, when they talk about um, they don't taste the same, is just the fact that they don't, I, I feel like they don't age them from as long as they used to because now it's a 60 day aging period. Um, they put it in the uh, in the freezing room for 60 days and they ship that shit out. And I think that's anticipating that it's slower sell. So they got to sit there anyway. Well, I feel like I feel like a lot of people would feel like they would get that that old school Jewish state maybe taste or or maybe whatever they whatever whatever was gone from now if it's sat at the factory long like mm, yeah that's the thing everybody tried to save money save time to pump out yeah. cigars and that's not to lower the quality for sure well yeah because you know and I feel like I feel like it's it's an arm race now where I feel like people aren't sitting on product as long as they used to mm -hmm. and and that might be a reason why why you know, um, since COVID, people are pumping out cigars a lot faster, too. Yeah. You know? So like, you know, they expect people to gonna buy it and let it sit in their humidor. Yeah. But even, but but even then, like when you smoke it, you're still not getting that that old school, you know, league of feel. True. So, you know, like you're not getting that old school Jewish state feel or even or taste. So it's one of those things where, you know, like it is one of those things like how, like since, since the boom, maybe, maybe everybody's just maybe rush, rushing things. Cause I think the people can tell the difference. So. Mm. And the next is. Aguanosa Leaf. Mm. I don't think there's much to talk about this cigar. It's got to be a beginner bundle, kind of. Not, not you yeah. know, bandit bundle kind of thing for beginners. Light, normal cigar for people who just want to start. Which is, which is kind of like crazy. One. It looks like one, too. So It looks like one. Packaging, it looks like a, yeah, it's called New Cuba. It looks like a Cuban cigar box. Nothing particular about it. Six dollar, seven dollar, basic light cigar. Mm. Which is which is very which is very interesting. Well, you gotta you gotta attract new smokers, right? So I, I think we kind of peaked out the way uh, cigar industry are. So. And the next one is Emilio Audiophile. 
which I know nothing about this brand. I think all their stuff is based on music kind of stuff. I just mm. don't know anything about them. I don't see that cigar here. I've never got one. Mm. Shit. Never got one. But 11 bucks a cigar? Okay. You know, they might have to hire artists or whatever, draw those boxes. I mm. can't understand it. But I know nothing about that cigar. I'm not. I, I, this will probably be something I skip because there's only 200 boxes anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Not a lot. Yeah, all three by total are limited to 200 boxes, so there's not a lot to you know. Most people are probably not gonna see it. And the next cigar is the most important one. I think that's the cigar that you probably gotta see Innocent smoking on his podcast one day or another. Is the um, Lunatic JFR? Mm. <laughs> every day every day and just give it like you and know I, and here's the thing i i love how they keep releasing punishing cigars for uh, for people to just punish their friends mm -hmm. right and this one is only like 40 bucks so 40 bucks wow. to, to abuse your friend i think this is something that everybody should buy one just so well you know what it's it's i would say i would say i would put that in the challenge in the challenge cigar category it is that's uh, that's just what i'm saying it's abusive it's mm -hmm. abusive right 10 inch by 100 what and, and, oh my yeah. god 10 inch long by 100 it's like after you get this you don't even have to worry about you know having to smoke woody or whatever at least you get something right you know what and for four and, and for 40 bucks i can understand it you know yeah i mean yeah. woody was 50 so yeah, you know what they, <laughs> they 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 cut a little bit off it's and 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 now they they're being direct competitors to the Woody, right? So there we go. It's it's a it's a lunatic Woody, pretty much. Even though like lunatic has like already devilish cigars already. Well, Roma Crab released a ten by one thirty three and on the third. Oh my gosh. Yeah, punishing cigar. Punishing cigar. Oh, so ha have you ever heard of Platinum Nova cigars? I've heard of it, yeah. Smoked it before? Nope. Mm. I've heard of it. And this one looks pretty cool. You know, it's like the planet and everything. It looks pretty cool. If I see it, oh. there are a good chance I will buy it. Mm. So they're coming out but with the a size though. The size seven and a quarter by fifty-four. Well, you know, that's that's some people's favorite size of cigar. You think so? Yeah. I know it's I know a long ass cigar though. Yeah. I know a few people that, that like that like that that uh that cigar size. I mean it looks like it's gotta be a flavorful cigar. Uh, Ecuadorian Habano 2000 Escuro wrapper with the uh, Dominican binder and yeah. wild leaf filler. It looks like it's gotta be a flavorful cigar at 18 bucks fifty. I will say that's something that I don't mind. I don't. I. I. I can see. You know, they put some effort into the box. They put some effort uh, into the design. Uh, I don't really get the theme, other mm -hmm. than that. You know, it's a NASA thing, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't get. But I like the design. I'll buy it just for the collection. Just, just, just for the look. Yeah. You know what? Like, it looks cool. I don't mind it. Uh, yeah. another one. Knuckle sandwich chef chef special. That's one that I, I already plan to buy. Mm. I already plan to buy. Now I tried the like I was a, a someone that said that you know what what does you know guy knows about cigars you know and I didn't thought about the fact that most likely they blend it and have him smoke it and he exactly it and, and, he, and he he picks so, it. Yeah. So when it comes to it, in the end, the Habano and the Maduro was great. I love yeah. those two. The Connecticut was disappointing for me. So I I am willing to give that a try at 150, you know, 10 cigar. I'm willing to give it. That's one not bad. Try, so that's not bad. I'll give that a try. Yeah, I'll give this one a try. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel about the Connecticut? I, I absolutely I, I actually don't like it because it doesn't taste like Connecticut. Mm. It just tastes weird to me. I, I just didn't like it. Uh, and so CLE is coming out with a new, 
a new uh, something new at, at, at TP. PCA, you mean? Yeah, PCA, sorry. Again, this box is the same way, right? The, with the with the four notch yeah. cut out, it's a it's a, it's yeah. a ashtray on top. So I think that's very similar. I don't know what difference that was from the previous one we talked about. Well, I think I, well did did the same company and in, 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 in a sense the T uh, uh, Aurora and CLE, right? But well, then, like, why did they release the two different ones with the same box style? I don't understand it. So, yeah, and you know, for me, I I really enjoy um, both. I like I like CLE, I like CLE more. Like I can go for a CLE cigar any day. Like I really like CLE a lot. Um, and also I I think that I think that CLE is, is a lot is a lot cheaper than the mm-hmm. overall stuff because I I haven't seen any CLEs except for maybe the um the select that are over fifteen dollars. But these ones are are seventeen eighteen dollars. It looks pretty good, but that's the thing. Again, this is another cigar. Chances are you're never gonna see it. Yeah, you never gotta see it because there's only 150 bucks per Vitola. Wow, that's crazy. Right? So people who collect those, it's gotta just take those gone, you know. Wow. And I feel like it's one of those like when you go to a blender, they give you a oh my of the God. same blend, and then they choose like this is good too, that is good too, but we're gonna release this one, so let's just release this one on the cheaper brand uh, with the on the. On the Actually, on you the know what? Brand. Like, this is not bad. At first, I was just skipping through it, but. It's it's a collection of an ashtray lighter and a cutter, which is not which is pretty cool. What does it come with the cutter? It didn't come with the cutter. Yeah, no, no. The um the, the next next one down. The, oh the the, uh, the I don't get the theme so much. So I don't know. Oh, if so I it's, see it, it, if it's, I see it, I'll probably buy one. But well, I have to see it. Well, it's the emperors, it's Alexander the Great, Augustus. Right, um, right. I, I understand that. Like, like, what's that had to do with them? That's the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, how about they got the ten million dollar uh, ashtray? Uh, I think that's the one that Brendan was talking about. Or something like that. Oh, wow. Right. But uh, yeah, that's way too expensive for me to put ash on. Yeah, exactly. So I, th- and it doesn't fit the theme in my house to have something like that. So definitely skip. <laughs> so and you know what it Tony there's so many fucking cigar brands man uh like Jake Wyatt like never heard of him everybody's tried to get into that you know everybody who's somebody who ever touched cigars like you know what I can start a cigar brand and then just go do something like that yeah I, I, I'm not really fond of that because then you get a lot of crappy ass things out there exactly you know like I've never heard of it so it's kind of interesting warped you know like i've never had a warp cigar but everybody that's fucking had one just loves it no warp, warp cigar is quite common you can, can you, i, 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 I have my one, and I, I really want to try one so bad jeez warp is i think warp is nothing special to me so mm. ah so this this is one this is one of my, one of my more favorite brands all right uh, what's what? Uh, Atelier. Yeah, I I like I like these cigars a lot. Some people call it Atelier. I don't know. Is it Atelier? Atelier. Atelier I yeah. What is it? But I like I like these cigars. You know, like they're uh, I think it's uh fifty two something. But um, but yeah, like I like everyone that I've had, I I've had no complaints about it. I think the, the thought of it is nice. You know, it's in memory of his dog, Roxy, but I really don't know. <laughs> so, you know, it's just it's just the same, you know, Adelia that, yeah. that's already been released. They just put it together. So 150, not too bad. You know, if you just want to add a bunch of like short cigars in your in your humidor, it's not too bad. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yo, what the hell? Where'd my mic thing go? Yo, this mic thing, I'm not, I'm not like crazy glue it on. Because it's always falling off. What are you looking for? Oh. It, it just always falls off. You know? <clears throat> so. So the next one, I plan to skip because it makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hoot and Young. 
some good old hooting. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. So, Hooting Yan, I, I don't think, I think I have had a cigar from them. I just don't know if, like, which one, what. It might be someone, something that's given to me. But that logo looked familiar. But um, it didn't interest me all that much, this particular one. Yeah. I didn't really pay that much attention to this one. So, I would probably most likely not be able to find one. Wow. And okay. And we, know, we have a new AJ. It was still just an AJ New World, but just the minis. Mm. So for those people who like got 10 minutes of smoke. Okay. Four bucks, five bucks, four. Uh, That's not bad. 4. 4, so it's five and bad. a half by Actually, that's a regular. That they, so it was a smaller of their regular Robusto, new, new World Robusto, four by thirty six is one of those. You know, they're like the Pamiras from Davidoff, and they're, they're mm. quick smoke. So, just nice. a Bitola. Nice. Yeah. And so then I... you have um, New World Dorado Corona. I don't know what. They yeah. they release a sampler just basically you can try all the sizes. I, okay. I you know fifty bucks, not bad. Not bad at all. So not my bad, question, yeah, but... so my question to you, Tony, is out of all the things that we've spoken about, what are some things that you that you want to try? Did I just tell you which one? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like so far. Yeah. Uh, so far I will. Yeah, I, well, obviously the chef special. I would like to try. I wouldn't mind yeah. to try the the CLE PCA one. Yeah, that I would. Uh, the the platinum Nova Trappist. I would like to try. Um, I will also like to try the diesel vintage one, and really? that's what it is so far. Really, mm -hmm. that's interesting. But the next one, I'm gonna buy it if I find it. Which one is it? It's a for real takeover release Suma. Ah, so, okay. Suma. You know what? But I haven't. But I, I haven't seen you smoked any of their other stuff as far as from JC. Newman. I smoked them, and I don't have any more left. <laughs> <laughs> the Generoso is really, really good. So for real takeover. They make this cigar with Davidoff, so you know, it's, yeah, it's right where my um, or well, they're distributed by Davidoff, so it, it, the, the flavor is good, it's a lot better than how Nat Sherman did theirs. Yeah. So, whatever they did is correct, it's good. I like, so the, I like the presentation, clean. Oh, I like well, the cigar. Well, you know what, like, honestly, like Michael, he reminds me of a like one of those London aficionados who I mean, uh, Aristocats. Why? Uh, Jesus, he just carries himself like an aristocrat. Huh. Okay, all right. You know, the only the only thing he does do is is use the is like have have you ever seen like did you see the, in the interview that they had with uh Kirby Allison and they're talking? <clears throat> I never watched their interview, so. I oh my know. gosh, it's the guy the, the guys from Davidoff London. They are hilarious. Oh yes, <laughs> I've seen those the the Davidoff London uh, and dinging. Yeah, if you guys like, saw my thing, I do the yeah. because I saw that I was like, like Dude, seriously. Oh, so that is. Quite splendid. This is lighter is superb. Oh uh, god. It it's a really it's a really clean uh you know everything is like so proper and extra words. It's like yo, like you use 18 words to, to say something for two for you know that takes two seconds to say. Oh god, you know, it's it's hilarious, and then they have like all this jewelry on the right. <laughs> I was in John kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, like they have all, all this jewelry and they're sitting there and everything is like, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you handing me this cigar. I am the oh, ultimate, God. I am the ultimate gentleman. They have a character to play, you know? Character yeah. Play. But you've, you've been there before, right? London? Well, no. the Davidoff the, the London. No. Really, I've not been to David Island no. Out of all people that I know, because like you have the accessibility to go, I figured you. I figured that'll be one one stop on your bucket list. London is not a good place for me to be. There's too many pickpocketers. Mm. 
Plus, if I did go there now, like, you know, if I pick, got a timing there, I will buy a cigar there and start doing their shit, try to light a cigar. <laughs> 20 minutes later, it's like, sir, are you going to smoke it or not? It's like, almost, almost, I need my virgin smoke. Wow. See if they kick me out. <laughs> yeah so well this 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 this, this is going to be like one of those podcasts where it's just like cut, off cut, the rails <laughs> yeah it's all right i don't i listen man that, that's what a podcast is you know life happens you know, yeah. kids happen. So it's perfectly fine. But, you know, like London is like, there's two reasons why I want to go to London. Tell one is to play. I want to play one game of rugby in London. Okay. And second is to smoke at the Davroff Lounge in London. You know, like I like as, as a kid, it was always a dream of mine to, you I, know, I, just, just play honestly, I don't, I don't think you can. Did you open uh-huh. both doors? The front door? Okay. I don't think you can. Even if you go to that without London, I think it's member based. You have to be a really? member or like, you know, like use their locker to be able to smoke in their lounge. Really? I think that's what it is. Wow. So yeah. So wow. Scratch it off. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, New York is starting to doing the same thing too. New York is starting to like, you know, you have to have uh, well, the membership, membership and the Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Like, but here's the thing like, New York is so expensive. It's like, is it even worth it? You know? Yeah. And yeah, on top it's, of it's that, it's sense. like, like, I can understand it. I can understand if you had Cubans there, you know, like if you had ag- or ag- or even just access to rare cigars. It's not like you're going to Vegas where, where it's that, it's that one, uh, that one lounge that has all the exclusive cigars. Yeah, I, you know, they only have limited space. So if they don't save the space for their members, they don't have enough space. That's yeah. what their excuse was. Yeah. So. Bullshit. Uh, so Crown Heads. They come, come out with a, with, a, with, with the sampler. That's not something that they already have. It's just yeah. a sampler. Yeah. And then we have Matildes. Limited exposure. I've never heard of it. I never heard of the brand. So mm, yeah, neither have I. The blend of cigar remains the same. San Andreas again, San Andreas again. You know. Yeah. I, no, I feel like I, like every company has come out with these San Andreas cigars, and like and like you said earlier, it's really going to just water down the market. Right. It's going to be so. something where they water. It, it's going to be so much San Andreas out there. Everybody's like, "Well, this cigar tastes the fucking same because everybody's using the same wrappers." Right. So yeah, like, I don't, don't like don't get that. like trust me. Get I I get. By 2025, everybody's gonna be using Candela wrapper, right? Going back, right? Going back to Candela wrapper because yeah. because they know how to use it. Well, it's hard to smoke. It's not. It's not hard. It's, they know how to do it, but it's it's just harder to smoke. You gotta smoke that very slowly. So, Patoro, Patino, Churchill, something that I didn't even look into for twenty four dollar. Mm-hmm. 26, 23, 60. I, 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 Shit. you know, Yo, not what, even like who do these people think they are? Yeah, well, it's seven by 48, thing, though. Seven by 48. Who do they think they are? And it's not so in the US, so, so you're okay. Oh, yeah, but still, it's just like, damn, like, you know, it's kind of yeah. like that. And you use a Piolo too, so it's not like it's like a hybrid okay. kind of thing. We should be on the floor. So, yeah, like, I, I d- didn't even bother with that. And the next is uh, Luciano cigars at Maria Lucia. Oh no, they just changed. They just changed the three line, became a core line. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, so yeah, so La La Gloria is come out with something new. La Gloria. Um, how far did you go? I didn't find that. Uh, it's right under the um, Patoro. Cigars, right under the Patoro. I don't see a. I don't see. I don't it see Laguaria. Like yeah, it should be like like it's a Maduro launching July first. The only thing I see right now under that is Luciano. Oh, I don't even see Luciano cigars. I'm only looking for the one that's uh coming out for two uh 
PCA. PCA, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, no, the, I see. I see the knuckle sandwich is coming out with something for PCA, which is a sampler. Yeah, but you skip a lot on on the on the line if you yeah. just go to the. Okay, PCA I see. I, I, yeah, yeah, I see. I see Luciano cigars now. And, and then you get Opix. It's come out with something new. Opus. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're reading the, the same list. Yeah. Well, it's it's not a PCA exclusive. Yeah, I'm I'm only looking at the PCA because all the other stuff is just not releasing a PCA. They already had yeah. it. The yeah. the next one I have on the list is actually Nestor Miranda celebrating 80th birthday and NM80 cigar. Mm. And um, I also don't know anything about this brand, so I'm probably not gonna be able to find it or try it. It's only 500 boxes each size. It's I don't know. I, you know what the thing is? People feel like, feel like if they like, well, when you're a new cigar brand owner, you feel like mm-hmm. you have to go to these events. You kind of have to. You know, like you you have to go there and shake hands with the big wigs to. And Which so I, way- I, I'm not really into that that kind of stuff. So. The next one I probably will find, like if I see it, I'll buy it. Is the La Palina. Uh, Mr. Sam line. Mm. That looks like a Kill Bill kind of thing. Pretty cool. <laughs> Let me find that. They even have a, a, a Nike shoes for that. For that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Kill Bill edition. That's fire. That's Ooh. pretty interesting. Oh, Blackworks has something new coming out. Okay, I see it now. Okay. Oh, that box is nice. I like the box. Yeah, if you scroll down, you'll see the Air Force One. <laughs> hey, founders. They just changed the band, right? Re- new packaging, so. Yeah, because they, they work with Casa Cuevas now. Yeah. Nice. It's cool that they changed the band. I still don't think it gets the, you know, eye-catching enough, so I, I, I would. I, yeah. I will tell you this. I, I am a fan of Cavalier Cigars. I have one in my in my window right now that I refuse to smoke. Which, which honestly, like, I there's another cigar shop that I can go to to, to get more Cavalier cigars. Okay, but I do, but I I do enjoy Cavalier cigars. Well, the new one looks pretty cool. The the limited edition one, the blue band yeah. and the gold that looks pretty yeah. cool. I like I like um, Cavalier cigars. Uh, is there a price on that? Nope, no price on that. Six by fifty four Toro. Oh yeah, no, there is fifteen, fourteen sixty per cigar. Not too bad. Mm. It'll be more than enough. Nineteen forty eight boxes. Uh, and then another one is uh, I, n- I never heard of this brand before. Sacrificio. No, I, I, Cabrera. Cabrera. Never heard of it. I, ha- I have not it. seen it. So you know, that that really depends whether or not you see it. But it is nineteen dollars cigar. Shit. Yeah, they just sell. Yeah, there are sixteen versions. They're sixteen dollars and zeros. Uh, wow. There is a Robusto of fifteen. And uh, the Gordo is the 19. So I see one called the Palestine, Connecticut. That's going to be debuting at the yeah, uh, I, PCA. It's, Never heard it's of it. Connecticut, before. though. It's a Connecticut. I, I yeah. don't, I, I, why would you pay $12 for Connecticut? Yeah. Well, right. I was, well, I see Villager has their uh, TAA exclusive coming out soon. Um, Billiger. I do not see that here. Oh well, I'm I'm just going through the the, the regular page. I didn't go. I didn't go to piece the PCA exclusives. Founders is coming out with the uh, Metapa, which mm. I don't like the band. Uh, Luciano Cigar and Dale Zagarin. Wow, they'll they'll release an Insta Bowl and Dale. Nicaragua at PCA. Wow. And that looks very decked out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 20 bucks a cigar. So Torres 20 bucks. No, well, I, I, I feel like I feel like 85% of the stuff at, at PCA is gonna be overpriced. No, I mean it's just a trade show. It has nothing to do with whether or not it's in PCA. So uh Blackwork Studio has this poison art. You know, it was pretty cool looking until I see the frog. And that turned <laughs> really so I move forward with that. Wow. Uh DBL. 
I'm never really I, into DBL cigars. I like DBL, man. I I like I like DBL. I like them, man. I I I'm you know seven by sixty four box pressed. Uh, the box is pretty cool. It's like a chest with a lock on it. So wow. that looks pretty cool. At uh, at twelve bucks a cigar, box of twenty four. It's not too bad. I mean, for people who want to collect it, that's not bad yeah. at all. And okay. anything else that's like interesting? Nah. Yeah. Black Label has a lot of them that's listed for PC year twenty twenty three. Shit. Uh, United Cigar has a Black Bomb Firecracker. Hmm. I think some people are like that. Hmm. GTO makes thirty three Oak Connecticut Toro. Hmm. Never heard of that one. Also, uh, Fer- Ferrera Cigars releasing a strong leaf. Um, that box just turns me off, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Mm. And time out cigar. I've never heard of that cigar either. Wow. Mm. Yeah, hotcakes. But back to that um cigar for for um, Espinosa, that knuckle sandwich. They came with yeah. the limited edition, right? Three by yeah. three by three. So exactly. there's three of their already released cigar in a perfecto sizing or something yeah. like that. And that's interesting. I mean, it comes with a challenge coin. It's more for color. Oh, nice. Yeah. The only reason I wouldn't buy it is because I wouldn't want to buy a box of cigar where three of them I won't smoke. It's yeah. one third of the cigar I'm not gonna smoke. That's, that's exactly kind of weird, right. So for a challenge coin, uh, another thing that I is probably not gonna be in PCA that I thought was very interesting is that they'll try to release a boule, mm. boule unicorn. Yeah, I see a herald. Yeah, that one is interesting, but it really depends on the price because like I don't want to be that idiot spend a hundred bucks on it. Well, it, it's not nah, he won't he won't hit you for a hundred. He'll hit you be he'll hit you he'll hit you for forty forty five. You know he'll 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 just forty bucks. I can kind of see it. I can kind of see that. Yeah, he'll I mean, he'll get you want to try. But a hundred bucks, probably not. I mean, I I bought the unicorn a hundred bucks. After I smoked it, it's like, yep, uh, Steve Saka is right. It's not hundred dollar worth of cigar in there. Yeah, but so. you know he he has to. You know, people people ask for an extra premium cigar, and he's like, listen, all my cigars are extra premium, so you know. Yeah, but yeah, making going. a cigar that wasn't extra premium, a different by Tola doesn't make it extra premium. Yeah, hey, you know what? His thing is, if you're dumb enough, if you're dumb enough to buy it, you get what you deserve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's what it is. You know, when when there's new things, people do spend the money. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. And that's pretty much <laughs> it. That's all the all the thing that's kind of interesting. The rest of the okay. stuff, not so interesting. Wow. Yeah, ten page worth. 10 pages worth of stuff. Wow. That's that's insane. That's insane. Well, that means that just means a lot of stuff will be coming out. And, yeah, which is know, good. I'm surprised Davidoff didn't say anything about the Year, year of the Dragon. Yeah. Colibri well, it's, well because it's, it's not it's not really a uh, a PCA. I don't think they did release that PCA, so. Yeah. It not, well, here's the thing. You can't release a cigar without going to PCA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? So, you know, just for the, the trade show to try to get vendors to be interested to order them. Yeah, yeah that's but that's much. that's the biggest thing. Yeah. And that's the truth. Is, is Mikey going to be there? No, he's not going this year. OK. Yeah. But like, people, like, people, his like way, so. people ask me if I'm going, I'm like, I'm not going. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Going. I will feel out of place if I go. Yeah, because there's more people I don't want to see than people I want to see. <laughs> Is that yeah? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that, that, that's one of the problem. Uh, I'm just scrolling down, going down really quickly to see if there's anything because you're you're reading the main page, right? I was reading yeah. just that. Yeah. Uh, oh, the Grand Habano Corojo number seven. That package is pretty cool. Oh, nice. It looks well, like a book. You know what? I I don't get it, man. Like, I haven't like. Some people like Grand Habano. I'm not the biggest fan of Grand Habano. Grand Habano to me is like a um a 
bundle stick brand that and is that's, that's that's how that's how I see it. That's how I see it. But you know they they're not really expensive, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's how that's, that's how I see them. So you know. Oh my like, god, Asylum. A sixty seven. Oh my god. What's with the what? What's with the 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 Asian theme on that thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get every. The, every but you gotta say every every company is talking about with the gimmick Asian cigar. Yeah, because Asian uh, will buy it. It's exactly. pretty cool though, because the top of the cover has a really cool looking dragon on top of it. That's fire. That's so, fire. I, I mean, if I see a box, I'll probably buy it. It, it looks pretty cool. Wow. Uh, but Tone, but I gotta cut it. Yeah, I gotta cut it here because I gotta cook dinner for these knuckleheads. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, you know what's the funny thing? Is? It's the funny. It's like when it's when it's starting to get good. I like fuck. I got I like I'm. I'm like, I'm like. You know what? They're gonna starve. Fuck it. They're gonna starve. No, that's good. I mean, I know this could be a part two, part three. I think no, no, no. no there has to be a part two. Of stuff, so yeah, there has there has to be a part two of this because I need more time with this. I right. definitely need more time with this. Do it. Uh, all right. So guys. The next episode of Good Bigger Scars podcast that's gonna is gonna have Tony again because we're gonna finish this off and then we got some anime to talk about. We get we get we really do. We got some oh we got some anime to talk about. Okay. We got some anime to talk about. All right, guys. So listen, you guys know the vibes already. Big guilty cigar podcast. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend to tell a friend, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace.